Well, all eyes will be on the presidential office on Monday as Park Geun-hye will be sworn in as Korea's first female president. Roughly 70,000 people will be attending the inauguration ceremony. Our Lee Ji-yoon tells us what we can expect from Monday's event. Monday will be a big day for the Korean people as they usher in their new president, Park Geun-hye. Korean rapper singer Sai will try to heat up the crowd prior to the actual inauguration ceremony by performing his hit song Gangnam Style. A number of celebratory performances will follow and then the main event will begin at 11 a.m. Korea time. The incoming president is expected to arrive at the front lawn of the National Assembly after paying her respects at the Seoul National Cemetery earlier in the morning. And after she's sworn in as the nation's 18th president, she will give her inaugural speech. The speech is expected to focus on our hopes of delivering a new era of happiness by bringing together the Korean society, creating more jobs, and improving welfare for the public. She's also expected to talk about her policy goals for the next five years she's in office and vow to uphold them. After the inauguration ceremony wraps up, the new president, who is expected to wear the traditional Korean attire hanbok, will head over to Gwanghwamun Square. There, she'll take part in a ceremonial pouch opening event, reading messages from the public on what they want from the new president. The ceremony preparatory committee says the inauguration will emphasize the new president's hopes of bringing the nation together. The inauguration event is designed to unite the Korean people, and that unity will create the energy needed to help the nation step forward into a new era of happiness. Later in the evening, the new president will wrap up her big day by sending off the former president, Lee Myung-bak, and head for the presidential office, Cheongwadae, where she'll host a state dinner. Lee Jun, Arirang News.